Hey everyone, it is Sunday, June 11th. The time right now is 1.57 p.m. and the temperature is around 22 degrees Celsius. At least I think it's 22 degrees. Nope, it's actually 21, my bad. And I believe this street is called Cedarvale and there is Strathmore Boulevard. And you'll notice there's a number of TTC buses here queuing up to become shuttle buses that'll run along a seven station stretch of line two, starting here where Woodbine Station is. And they run over to Broadview Station. And that is due to a subway closure this weekend. So I thought I'd go for a walk along at least part of the stretch where they're running shuttle buses. And this is Danforth Avenue. I'm trying to see if I can see a street name. Oh yeah, that is Cedarvale Avenue. So these buses do not yet have any riders on them. And the reason the TTC gave for the closure is track work. And I think they'll also be closing the subway line down early over the next few weeks. There's the St. Francis National Evangelical Spiritual Baptist Faith facility. And that is where all those people were dressed up. So I'm currently walking west on Danforth Avenue towards Woodbine Avenue. And that's where the closure begins and it looks like they're boarding everyone from the corner of Woodbine and Danforth. And to get here I took the shuttle bus in the other direction and through Greektown it was quite the gong show. I easily could have walked through Greektown faster than the shuttle bus went. And this is a part of town known as East Danforth. And this cyclist might be waiting a while. He might want to go left around this bus here. Or, you know, do that. So this is where you would board the shuttle bus. And the station is located about half a block to the north of here. So people traveling westbound would have got kicked off the subway. Now they're going to herd onto these shuttle buses here. Shuttle buses drop you off right around the corner from the station up there. If 
but things are a lot less busy on the side of the line. And you'll notice it's kind of overcast. We are expecting rain later today. I think I have my camera in tilt lock mode. Let me fix that. There we go. The Unicorn Cafe. So I took the subway to Broadview, the other end of the closure, and getting on a shuttle bus there was pretty seamless. There was no wait. I walked right onto the bus. And aside from all the congestion slowing it down, it moved pretty quick once we got through that. I've heard from some people that live around Line 2 that the Line 2 closures are never as smooth as the Line 1 closures, which says a lot because when they close Line 1, it's still always a bit of a headache, but I think they're handling it pretty well this weekend. It's back, the home run bundle, medium three topping pizza and chicken trio for 29 bucks. I thought that might have been a person under there. But once I get over towards Greektown, I think we'll see things back up quite a bit on Danforth. I'm not sure how far I'll go. I've done a few walks that have passed through Greektown somewhat recently. And I think of all the stations, a 
along this stretch, they have completely closed Chester Station down, and I think that's the only station that isn't served by any bus service. So that would make sense. Why well, open the station and go through that expense? I really like the non-gentrified feel of this area. That bus didn't look too full. Growers World Superstore. That shuttle bus is completely empty. And it's curious how these residential buildings survived. They didn't get turned into buildings with retail on such a major street. There's the McDee's. So this is Woodington Avenue coming up. There's an Ethiopian restaurant as we get closer to an area that's been dubbed Little Ethiopia. And there's an old TTC car house across the street, which a few weeks ago, I believe, was open for Doors Open Toronto. I heard from some people that went. It was a little on the disappointing side. The street used to be served by streetcars, but in 1966, the subway opened. And they built it just north of Danforth. And that, I believe, is Coxwell Station. This is Coxwell Avenue. So 
it's hard to tell based on the markings on the street that there is a subway station just around the corner from here. And back when I started the channel, or started live streaming at least, I remember on two occasions I finished my live streams in this area. And both times I went to the subway right after. There's an old school five pin bowling alley right here, Danforth Bowl. And I believe it was closed last time I walked by. We are looking for new people to join our team. It's been a while since I've done some five pin bowling. Well, the difference in traffic congestion between this area and Greektown is night and day. Watch, I'll get to Greektown and it won't be busy at all and I'll look crazy. There's an articulated bus. I legit see people at the airport with their kids. One thing that really kind of hurts the vibrancy of this stretch is just how low density the housing is around here. It's kind of ridiculous that along a major subway line it is mostly low rises and single family homes just to the north and south. There's a authentic Ethiopian vegan restaurant. So back in 2001, a restaurant opened in the area called Rendezvous. I think that was the first Ethiopian restaurant in the area, which roughly spans between Monarch Park Avenue here and Greenwood. There's a place, Mom's Basement. I've been there. It's kind of a funky retro style bar. There it is. And this place is quite excellent. The Wren right next to the Wood Owl. And I've been to this place.
just another Ethiopian restaurant. Another ar area with a strong presence of Ethiopian restaurants is around Bloor and Ossington. Yeah, you could actually walk there just by continuing west along Danforth here. It'll turn into Bloor once you cross over into downtown. Although that's a hell of a hike. That's me. Whoa. How are you doing it right now? I am. I was just watching yesterday. Cool. Well, nice to meet you. Cheers. There's a Rudy. Just ran into a friendly viewer. And this is Linsmore Crescent. I wonder if that's a shuttle bus letting people off here. I don't think it would be. Let's see, that's a, oh, that is a shuttle bus. Well, I guess that makes sense. There's an entrance to Greenwood Station right here. on the Danforth. Ethiopian. And this is Greenwood Avenue coming up. So that's three stations out of seven covered. At least I've walked past them. the Allenby, a theater turned Circle K. And it's important, they once screened the Rocky Horror Picture Show there. And there used to be more to it than that, but they've knocked down a lot of that building. Greenwood Avenue. Well, the entrance to Greenwood Station is on Linsmore, which we walked by earlier. I can't say I'm a fan of that beer store. Just kind of rain out this front to the street here. And this next stretch is always on the quiet side.
There's a packed shuttle bus. Followed by one that's not so packed. There are a ton of dive bars. And just as I say that, there's a place called Davies Dive that no longer appears to be operating. All right, so traffic is starting to build up. This fire truck navigates single lane of traffic that's built up. It's a hazardous materials unit. been a vacant lot for as long as I can remember. Grand opening soon. Doesn't really look like it. The Burger Bros. Cheeseburger, fries, and a pop. $9.99. Tempted to go in there and try it out. Oh, there's the Islamic Prayer Center across the street. I don't know if you'd formally call that a mosque or not. That guy was a license plate buff. But we are at Donlands Avenue. There's Donlands Station just to the north. Easy Burger's got a deal going on, and there's the only cafe. They've got a great patio out back. It's a nice cafe and bar. paying attention but I think I'm moving quicker than these buses for the most part through here. And we are just about into Greek Town. And if you're in the area and you want a burger, no offenses to those or no offense <laughs> to those places I passed and didn't try. But I think you owe it to yourself to try Square Boy right over there. That is a really old school burger joint. It's a staple of the neighborhood and it's quite affordable as well. I think it's family run. 
and the people working there are always fantastically friendly. Here's Jones Avenue, which signifies that we are in Greektown. And there's a lot of people in the area who are opposed to the installation of these bike lanes, which have been a massive win not just the people in Danforth and the businesses here, but the city in general. They're going to be pointing the finger at these bike lanes for contributing to this congestion, but really, it's just one weekend. The pros vastly outweigh the cons. But hey, some people want to see a less safe environment for cyclists and pedestrians and more fatalities so they can get where they're going in their car a minute faster. And they'll use nonsense like saying that drivers pay for the roads. Well, not these ones, everyone pays for these ones. They're thinking of provincial highways when they say that, and still, those are also funded by everyone. This is Woodycrest Avenue. So a few days ago, I posted a dog walk video of a friend's dog who lives in the area, and we came up to Danforth and walked over to Carlisle, although I walked on the south side. It also wasn't during a weekend where there's this shuttle bus mayhem going on. reasonably sure I'll be walking faster than anyone driving or than these sh shuttle buses will be moving along the stretch. And given how slow these buses are moving, I might as well just keep walking all the way to Broadview and catch the subway there. So I guess we're going through Greektown after all. And they're starting to prep or prep for the Ontario line. This building on the right that houses a home hardware has been expropriated. Pape Station just around the corner here will be expanded to a two-line station and there'll be an interchange. This place is pretty good if you want some breakfast or brunch. There's Hunter's. station is just to the north of here. There's surprisingly few people waiting to get on that Pape shuttle bus. A 
I should have started counting how many shuttle buses I overtake as I walk towards Broadview. Smoke's coming soon. This is Carlos when I did that Charlie walk. I walked him down to Withrow Park, which is just south of here. So the next subway station will be Chester. Once I get past Chester, I'll be out of Greek town and in an area known as the Plater Estates. Alexander the Great. I think I want to cross over to the south side at some point. Maybe I'll stick to the north for another block or so. These buses are just crawling along. Uh, 
started sitting here. There's people boarding for just one stop. Although I would say, if your legs work well, don't even bother, just walk. There's Chester Station, so that is six. Um, the seven stops covered so far. There's a bus that's mostly empty, and given that it's right behind another bus, I bet it'll remain that way. It's no doubt a costly undertaking to deploy all these buses and drivers versus the subway. Must have passed a few dozen buses already. It's just occurring to me with these bike lanes, maybe a better idea would have been to bring the scooter or bike and see how things are like. Oh well. And here's where the shuttle buses turn on to Danforth. Are they the eastbound ones? We've got those pylons marked off. So cars can't turn right there. So they're basically going in a loop. The shuttle bus will turn right onto Broadview. And then it will go north a block and in the other direction go parallel to Broadview. And then come down right there at Plater Boulevard. There's Factory Girl, which is quite excellent. This fresh fish market is closing for good on June 11th. 
said 80, a pretty cool retro arcade bar. Sidebar is quite excellent. And here's Broadview Avenue coming up. And that'll mark the end of the line for this shuttle bus fun. Although there's still a number of closures and diversions throughout the streetcar network this weekend. Big notable one being along Dundas Street West through Little Portugal. As the Due West Fest is taking place there. I was out recording that one yesterday. And in a block or so west of here, Danforth becomes Bloor. And you cross the Bloor Viaduct and cross over into downtown. And look at all these shuttle buses lined up. That Hyundai just swung out in front of that Cadillac without notice. I think these light cycles might be extra long just to allow these shuttle buses to clear out. Shuttle bus is lined up as far as the eye can see. So all these people are heading down, or most of them anyway, to the westbound platform. But when you get kicked off the subway traveling eastbound at Broadview, that guy's very cool. You have to walk north here a block. And you board the shuttle bus just up there in the north end of that little parquet. And there are no streetcars running through Broadview right now. What else is new? Just head in here. We've got these gates propped open. I'm 
still within my free transfer time period had I have tapped, so it's really not a big deal. But here we go. I hope you enjoyed this one, starting around Woodbine Station, walking west along Danforth during a TTC closure. Finishing up here at Broadview Station. Let me know your thoughts and comments down below and if you wish to support the channel. There's links to my Patreon and YouTube channel membership down in the description. I have an Instagram account at Johnny Strides. And there is a super thanks button if you wish to say thanks that way. As we wait for the next train. Anywho, thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Yoink!